We're here with Guy Gora from Gabon. Just ran 20.44, finished second in your heat. It's a national record, right? Yeah. How, how do you feel to, to do that today? Uh, I'm just feel so blessed because I was just injury two weeks ago. I have only two weeks to come back and do something like that. I'm so blessed because I was on the line eight. In my mind, I was like, just go. Don't care about nobody. Don't care about people run 19 and stuff like that. Just do your own race. Don't listen to nobody. Just stay focused. Finish the race and see what happens. Was that pressure being on the outside lane, you know, not seeing anybody? Did, did you feel some pressure? No, I feel comfortable. Yeah, I feel comfortable because I, sometimes I run on the lane 8, like, just to, to make sure I can run on that lane because some people don't like run on the lane 8. So you have to do... That's the world championship, man. Yeah, whatever lane they give you, you have to run. That's it. You have no excuses right now, so you have to run and then see what happens. That's it. And that national record, that's an amazing performance. How does it feel to just represent Gabon on the you know, global stage? Yeah, I'm the only athlete, so I'm like, she have to run. So because if I don't run, people on my country want to talk about all the, like, all the stuff bad about me, about how oh, you cannot run, you go on a big stage like World Championship, you can run. And I have no preparation, I don't have help, so I do something like that on my own. I'm just so blessed. That's so you, you don't have any like help? Do you have like a, a coach? Do you have like a team around you or it's just like you working? I got a coach. But the fact people in my country don't understand the preparation before is not after. They're going to give you help after the competition. That doesn't make any sense. So when they ask for something, something, something like that, like World Championship, people have to be ready. They want, me to, well, they want us to run like American and stuff like that. They don't know what Americans do. Americans run so fast. So they got a lot of preparation uh, at the beginning so me and some other athletes from africa just training on their own so right now my my federation say just run and do what you gotta do and uh, beat your record if you can so you got nothing to lose right now so i just run i, re I, did, I really don't care because i didn't check like, the story yesterday i was going to sleep where don't do something and just when it came just run that's it and then last question. So the future of sprinting in Africa, right? You're representing Gabon. We have athletes from like Nigeria and Botswana and all over. What do you see as the future of sprinting in Africa? Like all, all country? Yeah, like the continent, yeah. Uh, if I can be honest, I think Africa should be the, the, country, the continent of people as the fastest men in the world or something like that. Because in Africa, a lot of athletes training by their own. They have no preparation they got no help that's why you see a lot of african athletes when they came on the big stage like that they're just trying to do the best so that's why you see on the professional athletes now have a lot of african professional athletes so we have to do but i think if the president of the organization from africa start to really take the the track and field very serious we're going to be a lot of people can run fast yeah well, looking forward to you in those semifinals. go get some rest man